I'm here with my father who is a red belt and he has something to say. All right, uh, thank you very much for help us. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, <laughs> What's going on guys? I'm here with my red belt ninth degree father and he has spent his entire life doing martial arts since 1963. He founded this dojo, gave it to me and I want to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and then because of everyone's overwhelming support I was able to convince this 82 year old man into coming in during the pandemic to film something for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for supporting us. I, my life is this dojo. And uh, my creative student heart is in my dojo also. So thank you very much for your helping. All right, so my father is going to show you his turn throw Tayatoshi, which is pretty simple, but the most important thing that he does is anticipate the other person's reaction, switch in direction, Kojigari. And a really important tip that my father always gave me is punching the jaw. We're going to get to that, right? Let's just see his basic Tayatoshi first, right? Okay, Tayatoshi. One, two, Tayatoshi. Nice. Okay, let's go. A little explanation here. Yeah. Right, so you'll pull me forward, step forward, pull me forward, and then notice the position of his elbows directly under my armpit here. Right, he has a nice strong fist against my chin, and it's going to be very important for the later technique of going into the coaching. Okay, he breaks my posture forward, which is only <laughs> go back. Yeah, it's only momentary, terribly. Okay, and in this situation, he steps across, steps across, and then he takes his entire body rotate, and then takes me over. With Tatoshi. Now, not so easy to do. My defense is naturally going to be to brace in the direction that he's trying to off balance me. Okay, if he's trying to off balance me in this direction, I'm gonna post my leg, turn, and push against the direction that he wants to take me. Right? So when he goes the Tatoshi, look, I resist, and then he switches position for the coach we got here. Okay? The most important thing is the position of his hand on my chin. Right? If he pushes on my chest, my shoulder can rotate, but if he posts on my chin and pulls this arm, my upper body is trapped in this region, thus taking me into the technique in this direction. Right? That's very good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>